fucking stories, nigga. I know. We get to talk to her when we work at Dairy Queen food. That's how we came up, me and this nigga. We came up from this food. He's a mathematician, but and we come up at least two billions a day, if not more, two to five. Uh, Scamming we, Dairy Queen? Yeah, if we, we came up hard. Food. Yeah. Like, this food is a genius. And then, yeah, that's how, that's how we got our first apartment, remember? That's how yeah. we got our first brick, remember? That's what we did. We stacked up, we got our first brick, food, and we were stealing. Oh, yeah. and then that scam we were running at MCI. Oh, we don't have enough time to tell that. Yeah, There's not enough time. Yeah, there. that's like shh. MCI is a whole story oh, in itself, fuck, dog. Yeah. That's a 20 minutes, half hour yeah, by that's, itself, yeah, dog. That's a, some crazy shit right there. And we could talk all about that one because MCI is it's no longer deal. a thing, yeah, dog. Yeah. They already been indicted. Uh, <laughs> done deal. Yeah, yeah. All the MCI and we didn't damage. burn the people. We burned MCI. So really, we just burned a bunch of criminals anyway. We, yeah, we didn't we actually burn nobody. Uh -uh. Because we just hooked up the payphones. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what we did for nobody got jacked. Bro. We just got paid. Yeah. That's yeah. all. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. But the only money came out of a company that's now defunct. Right, yeah, so like, we, yeah, that was a perfect thing. We, we did that shit for like, how long? Like, I don't know, that helped though. That was the shit, no, we were, no, nigga, we, we did it big, fool. I, that's some legacy story shit, how we did that shit, fool, because we made a grip of money, for. I, I went to Club MCI off that shit, nigga. I was the top salesman in, the, in America, in America, like a, a couple times, fool. And I had the most international sales, even though it was all. It was a scam. It was a scam, but they didn't know that. He was selling shit to me, <laughs> Back in the day, fool, <laughs> pay phones. Remember pay phones? You used to be able to call some of them back. Some of them would ha actually have the number on it, and you could literally call that shit back. Remember? Yeah. That's how we did it. Yeah, that. you could just go to a pay phone. You could give your homie the number to a pay phone and be like, call me at 530, and you could just be at that pay phone, and, the pay and they could call you. And it's legal. It wasn't illegal at all. You could do that. You know what I mean? It was, it was standard practice. It was kind of... It's kind of part of the yeah, world. Now there's no more pay phones. Yeah, so people yeah. These new cats don't know nothing about it, but yeah. But I got this job selling some long distance niggas, so we got a little wild hair up our asses, and we, uh, you know what I mean? We would do. Remember, we I had a pager. That's what. Then this fool would go around and page me with the the number. Remember? Yeah. You page me with the number, and then I would set up a whole profile for it. And then I'd call, and this fool would just wait. It would be worth waiting. This fool would find the phone and just wait for me to, if it took an hour, if it took two hours, you would wait there uh, until I called, fool. And then boom, I'd set up. Because sometimes it'd take me longer because the MCI, they, they're under, they, they watched everything too. So I had to be, be on it. But, but my, uh, my supervisor was my cousin. So I had a little bit of a little bit of leeway on that one. So uh, he really never watched me too much. But when he did, I, I did my thing. Or not, <clears throat> I did my thing. But uh, so he didn't really suspect me. But you know who got me hemmed up, got us hemmed up, and stopped that whole aunt the wall's boyfriend, Dave Spikes. Remember that fool? Who? Oh. David Spikes, aunt the wall's husband. Like her husband, fool. Like. The guy who sold me the gray caddy fool, he was a Texan and he fucking, like I was a little kid dude and this fool me and him had beef. My first beef in life was my auntie's boyfriend. And this nigga was a grown ass man, he was like 36 or something. I'm literally 10 years old nigga. Straight up, I mopped that fool a couple, we were crazy when we were little kids fool. Like I couldn't see these 10 year olds doing what we did fool, I swear. Like you know how little they are and shit, you know what I'm saying? They do other shit though, they be twerking and shit. Oh yeah. No, but I swear fool, like I couldn't see the fucking kids doing the shit that we did.